think it's just the way Betty Joe would want it. Golly, it's hard to realize she's been away the whole summer, isn't it? Mm. I wonder if she'll be changed. My Betty Joe changed? Of course not. You know, something's missing. Are you sure, Mom? Well, of course I'm not sure. If I was sure, I'd know what it was. I meant about Betty Joe changing. After all, going halfway around the world is... Well, it's not the way it once was, dear. The world is a pretty small place, you know, now. Mm. It's pretty big when the farthest you've ever been is Crabwell Corners. Honey, you're a joy, little Tom. Doesn't make it only take one of you, and it was Betty Joe's graduation present, and I just remembered. <laughs> Her baseball uniform. <laughs> <laughs> they retired her number. <laughs> Well, that's what we mean, Mom. After all this traveling, Betty Jo's just bound to be changed. Changed how? Well, she just won't go for things like that. And all these kid things. You mean three months traveling has turned her into a Grandma Moses? <laughs> it isn't that, Mom. It's just that... Oh, forget it. That's right. Forget it. Mothers are the last to know. What is this mothers are the last to know? Up till a few years ago, I was dandling Betty Jo on my knee. Now you want me to turn in my lap? <laughs> Here's Steve. I've got to tell him the good news. Do you think Mom's a little overstimulated? <laughs> <laughs> you know the older generation. They can't dance away their excess energy. <laughs> Wait a minute, Kate. Don't go through that door. Through door A, she triggers photoelectric cell B, which in turn activates juice box C. <laughs> what do you think of it? Well, <laughs> I'm much too happy to say it right now. <laughs> Hold it, Kate. There's a few bugs I have working. <laughs> a few bugs that hadn't worked out. <laughs> Oh, darn it. Funiculi, funicula. <laughs> Mrs. Bradley. Hi. Great news. Betty Joe's coming home today. No kidding. The run's coming back. Uh -huh. well, when she get in? Well, that's the point. You see, the commercial plane lands in the city, and uh, then she'll probably kill two or three hours trying to get a bus to Hooterville, and uh, then she'll have to hop the cannonball, and... Um... And you were wondering if I wouldn't fly up and meet her. Oh, would you, Steve? <laughs> She's my baby, and I haven't seen her in such a long time. Luckily, I just gassed up. And besides, I kind of missed a squirt myself. Uh -huh. I haven't had a good grease monkey since she left. <laughs> Steve? Hmm? You don't think she will have changed any, do you? Change? The run? She'll be the same when she's 90. <laughs> She's sort of anxious to see you, so I... So you came down to meet me. Can't you all? Uh, how's that? Uh, never mind. Aren't you going to welcome me home? Oh, well, sure. Welcome home, Betty Jo. Oh, I'd like you to meet some friends of mine. This is Peter. And Brad. And Ronnie. Oh, smashing! <laughs> Ronnie's British. 
I guess. Who are these characters? I told you. Friends. I'm mad, all of them. <laughs> Won't argue with you there. Imagine. They all flew out here with me just on a wild impulse. <laughs> this one really had an impulse. Brad. Came right from the party. But then Brad always does. Uh, well, fellas, uh, thanks. Betty Jo thanks you. And her mother thanks you. And I thank you. And now, if you'll just... What Stephen means is that I must say goodbye. I'll be flying the rest of the way in his plane. And there just isn't room for more than one. Uh, flying where? Well, I told you. To the Shady Rest. Right between Hooterville and Pixley. You mean there actually are such places? <laughs> yeah, actually. Well, so long. See you around the polo field. <laughs> Good to have you back, kid. A shortstop. You're telling me. <laughs> oh, my baby. Let me look at you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Mama, what's the matter? Oh, not, nothing at all. Well, then, let's go in. I'm just dying to see my room. Your room? <laughs> well, you said in your letter you had a surprise for me. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, tell you what. Why don't you close your eyes for about half an hour and then look at it? <laughs> oh, don't be silly. Come on. Oh, no. Uncle Joe, you never change. <laughs> but thank you for trying. It's a wonderful welcome. Merci, merci, merci. Well, thanks, Betty Joe. What do you want mercy for? One of them records didn't hit you, did it? Mercy is thank you. And something else never changes. This place. You know, we stayed at the Claridge in London. And... Where's Mama? Oh, of course. My room. <laughs> I meant well. Room to look like it was, you know, so you'd feel at home and comfortable. But look, we can take everything down and you can fix it just the way you want it. No. Oh, Mama. This is the way I want it. Honestly. Well, maybe we could lose the baseball shirt. <laughs> How young I was. <laughs> and the corsage from Ed. <laughs> Who else but Ed would think of sending a corsage of dandelion? <laughs> and some of these childish things. <laughs> I must have been very silly back in those days. <laughs> oh, yeah. Way back in those days. <laughs> now, I'll just put up some prints and a few pieces I brought from Paris. Let's see, Mama. You've got the room just the way I want it. Yeah, haven't I? Well, I hope you uh, like the rest of the surprise. We have an open house and some of our friends are coming over to welcome you back. You didn't have to do that for me. I didn't do it for you. I did it for me. I want to show you off. Charlie. <laughs> well, look who's here. <laughs> oh, mon joli petit chien. Conscious Weasel Rose, the Turtle Noir. You and me both. And in Paris, we stayed at the 
and George sank. George did what? Sank. <laughs> it's a hotel. The best in Paris. Très élégant. I'll bet I did hit her with them records. Look how funny she talks. <laughs> It's a special whistle. At this hour? Floyd, what is it? Well, you see the business I brought you, Kate. Three and a crack. I see two. Gentlemen, we are at Shady Rest. <laughs> Peter, Paul, and Mary. Joyce, what are you doing here? <laughs> Very sweet. We just had to see who it And we saw it, and we don't believe it. Smashing! <laughs> Say, Joe, uh, aren't you going to uh, introduce us to your friends? Oh, sorry. Uh, gentlemen, this is my mother, Mrs. Bradley. Hello. And my sisters, Bobby Joe and Billy Joe. And my Uncle Joe Carson. And, of course, you've met Steve. <laughs> well, um, so what are we waiting for? Let's all go up to the hotel. Oh, we're just dying to see it. <laughs> I can't wait. <laughs> what are they? They're what's called members of the jet set. What's that? What do they do? Do? They don't do anything. They just sort of sit around. What do you know? I've been a jet setter all my life and didn't even know it. <laughs> well, boys, this is it. Well, welcome to the Shady Rest. <laughs> <laughs> it's not much, but... You call it home. <laughs> well, yes. Smashing! <laughs> Dang, I forgot to hook up my welcome signal. <laughs> well, what do you think? Bet you never expected to find anything like this way out here. I can honestly say we never did. It kind of dazzles you, don't it? Hey, uh, you a waiter or something? We want you all to make yourselves at home. And, uh, incidentally, we're having a get-together to celebrate Betty Jo's homecoming. And you're all invited. Maybe they wouldn't oh, care. Until they're our guests. Yes, child, bite your tongue. You wouldn't miss it for worlds. Not for worlds. <laughs> well, it isn't all that much. It's not so very special, but... Now, don't tell us. Let me guess. Now, let's see. There'll be uh, cake and cookies <laughs> and fruit punch, and then we'll all gather around the piano and sing. Oh, well, yes. I'm smashing. <laughs> Maybe we should postpone the party until after they leave. Hey, Joe, are you ashamed of our friends? No, but these fellows are different. You can say that again. That one fellow. I haven't seen so much hair since Todd Foster got Mandy's sheep and wouldn't share them. <laughs> who runs a general store. And this is, um, oh goodness, it'd take all night if I introduced everybody. So why don't you just go around and howdy all the folks and you'll be friends in no time. I know that isn't a card deadly post, but what's around here? Oh, Bobby Joe will need more sandwiches, too. Hear that, man? The lady says mingle and say howdy. 
you think it's time they left? I'd be uh, very happy to. No, no. You come in the kitchen and help me get some punch. Well, if it isn't Casey Jones. No, Floyd Smooth. Oh. <laughs> Whatever. Wait a minute. Now, don't you tell me you let me guess. You do imitation. What? Yeah, how'd you get? <laughs> now, I know an imitation man when I see one. Oh, that's fascinating. It's a cute bunch of friends you got. One thing I do is my train whistle. Smashy! Like to hear it again? Would you? Now, a duck call. <laughs> Thank you, Billy Joe. Mrs. Bradley, what do you think of those characters? Oh well, I uh, I never like to form an opinion on such short notice. Short notice? Well, how much notice do you need? They're they're loud, they're, they're obnoxious, they're conceited, revolting. They're... Wait a minute, let me see if I get the picture. Um, you don't like them. In space. <laughs> Just remember one thing, they are Betty Joe's friends. And that's what bugs me. How can a swell kid like Betty Joe fall in with coops like that? She's got charm and looks and class. And... What's the matter? By any chance, you're not jealous. Jealous? Over the rug? Well, of course not. That's, uh, silly. Yeah, yeah, I suppose it is. She has changed a lot, though, hasn't she? She sure has. I mean, you know, growing up and all. <laughs> yeah, I know what you mean. <laughs> well, uh, <clears throat> come on, we're having a party, remember? <laughs> ain't much use to entertainment. I, I don't near afraid to hit him with my special date. I get too much for him. Yeah, that fellow. He's got a special to him. <laughs> Smashing! One time for Zeke. Floyd. Oh. <laughs> All right. Here goes. Dog meets cat. Wow! Wow! Woo! 
take them apart. No. But I think it's time I said something. No, Mom. It's time I said something. <laughs> well, if it isn't little Bo Peep, she looks like one of them. Oh, it's fancy. What are they talking about? It's nothing, Floyd. Except, do you think you could fire up the cannonball for a special run? Well, sure. Who wants to go someplace? I think these three gentlemen. I have an idea they may want to go back where they came from. All right. I'll get her fired up. When I give her the... Whoa, whoa, you'll know she's ready. <laughs> hey, sweets, are you by any chance trying to tell us something? Darn right I am. And I'm trying to tell my real friends something, too. And I'm ashamed. And I apologize to them. You know, back in New York, I was quite impressed with these characters. Somehow it seemed very sophisticated. All laughs and games. And never a worry about poking fun at anyone or hurting his feelings. It was the in thing to do. Well, I've got news for you. Here in Hooterville, we happen to have respect for one another and regard for each other's feelings. And we're just corny enough to think a little common decency is the in thing. Well, I'm not surprised you don't dig me. To you, that's about as out as you can get. Well, you'll pardon my being abrupt, but I'd like to see just how far out you can really get, and the sooner the better. What's going on? Don't look now, but I think our little girl is really growing up. Well, man, that seems to be our cue. Very sweet. Don't think it hasn't been fun. Because it's been hilarious. And uh, don't try to see us to the door. You might fall off your soapbox. Joe, better give him a farewell. Are you kidding? <laughs> oh, yeah. They gotta have a farewell. <laughs> oh, uh, by the way, Gramps, never mind about the farewells. We'll remember this place for as long as... <laughs> Farewell. <laughs>